Good afternoon, everybody. I am Fat Crap, and this is Quantum Conundrum. Uh, it's a game developed by some, by a little someone named Kim Swift. Uh, you may recognize the name from some dumb little game. It's not very well known. It's called Portal. Um, and so she made this game. And uh, yeah, let's 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 check this out. Let's do a new game. Whoa. No, wait. Go back. Wait, no, that's not going back, but I need to fix my controls. I need more sensitivity. Uh, huh, let's try that. Let's max it out. And, nah, that should be fine right there. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm probably going to edit this all out. What the hell is mouth smoothing? I'm gonna put it back on. Uh huh. Alright, cool. I'm good. Now, let's play Quantum Conundrum. Once upon a time. That's how these things usually start, yes. Yay! A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claimed. She's dumb! And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my... Uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now, the car's two-dimensional. The boy had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. Uh huh. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. There's no narcissist awaiting me. Well, let's see here. If I configure the trans-dimensional velocity regulator at approximately 0 0.887 microseconds past me. Oh, you're here? Yes. The most incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit <laughs> indisposed at the moment. So am I. I can't move. Okay, now I can. Okay, this sensitivity is way up. I made a mistake. I'm gonna put it back to where it was. The uh, the menu made me believe it was sluggish, or that I had originally believed. Alright, this is much better. Okay. If you take your luggage into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. Uh, it's invisible! With left click. Use button. There, there we go. Oh, you confounded machine. I'm not a machine. I'm a boy. Oh. I'm a real boy. What was that? I'm hungry. That's a painting. Did I go in here? Oh, good. That, that should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. I figured that. Oh, jump. Where did I put that? Whoa. Come on. Oh, oh, herp a derp. Okay, still a little bit sensitive. Alright. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten. You're not particularly tall, are you? I'm a child. You should be able to use your luggage to give you an extra boost. Oh no 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 no! No, that's what I did. You can't stop me. You can't stop me, old man. What the? Did, what? Did you? Did, what? What's going on? And you broke my luggage. My mom, your sister, is going to be pissed. I'm not sure where I am right now. The security uplink on my watch still seems to work, so I can see you and... Hello? You, you, you can hear me, right? Jump around a bit if you can. Yeah. Ah! It seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Cool. Well, I most certainly can do better than this. <laughs> testing, 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 testing! There. Ah. Much better. Now, 
What in the world are you doing here? Uh, Were you supposed to be here today? Yes. No well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. Do me and <laughs> yourself. Big words. A favor. I'm a child. I don't know what big words are. There's a way to restart the power grid. Uh huh. Are you gonna tell me? Or are you just gonna unscrew the door? Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then I don't know. I know. I, I do think book. the failsafe was tripped accidentally. Unfortunately, the front door will remain in lockdown until you can restore the power. Hmm. If you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. This is a. Uh... Oh, that looks cool. Throw that switch there. It should be the one. Yeah. Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Is this money? Just... It's VHS. Uh, take the glove in the box with you. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not. Well, I could hear what it in your tone. What you're holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device. Or IDS device, for short. Uh, it's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> that was terrible, Uncle What Your Name Is. And if you're such an advanced scientist where you can do interdimensional stuff, why are you still using VHS? Did I go in here? Nope. Hit the button. Okay, I guess I gotta... Book around over oh, where the lights go. If you from. can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. Ah, uh, yes. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Your mustache well, collection. I you should start there first. Right, let's go. Unscrew the door. There's something I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Uh, I mean, visited. Hey, hey, blame mom for that, okay? It's not my fault. I'm just a little kid. But it's an itchy shoulder. Back. Whatever. Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. Again, why are you using to VHS? A power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. Oh, give me that jetpack. Give me that. Give it. Maybe not. It's kind of not working, I think. And it's also on fire, in that picture. That's a freeze. Oh, it's a museum. Kind of. The glove contains ah. a power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Point to finger. Are you telling me to go up there? Well, I can't. I gotta go up the stairs. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. Why you gotta be like that? This door is using one of my inventions. The repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. Or a drinking bird. Except that it's far more advanced. Yeah, it has a top hat on it. And yeah. Well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few yeah, yes. limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I guess this cat has like one eye that's kind of just melting off. Oh, that was really fancy. Ah. Yeah. A shift in perspective. This is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Okay. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. That seems kind of irresponsible. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, which in this case is a fluffy dimension. In addition to fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is ten times lighter than normal. <laughs> oh, I love how the picture changes, too. 
You want to see it again? Yeah. He's a chicken. Give me that safe. Oh, that is a safe. Okay. Give me the plushie safe. Yeah. Though that looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. You can definitely see the portal influences on this. Okay. Ah. So there's that lovely bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. De hey. Hey. Something to note. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not you in an alternate dimension. But, uh, let me try that again. You remain constant, so no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. I thought I was charismatic and cute. I'm just a little kid. I'm not trying. You should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. Mounted on the wall. Was it? Oh! What was that thing? Okay. Oh. I'm just a little kid. I'm not an Olymp. I'm. I'm just a little kid. I'm not an Olympian. Distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. One, one, three, Q, E. I apologize for anyone who has ster uh, not steroids, um, the thing that makes it flashy on your eyes. Oh. I'm a child. Not just in this game, but in real life, too. I'm actually a man-child. I'm very immature. As I mentioned... Dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. What? This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. Uh, sure. I'll go with that. Hucking stuff. Man, you're just... Ah, that's Dolly. Just Dynamic one letter off from saying some really horrible. Interface. You look unhappy. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Jesus! Oh, I'll need to tune that later. Don't do that! I was standing right here, Dolly! Okay, now I can't switch to the pl Oh, that's why. Uh huh. Yeah! Knock it all over! Fuck your couch! Okay. Ah, that's my favorite chair. Oh, and that one too. These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope yttrium aluminum garnet lasers using what? an alternating rate configuration. Gives them an extra kick. That. The fuck was that? Whoa! Watch it, Dolly. Standing right here. Why? Oh! So I see all the way there, I'm like, Hrua! Oh, yes! I am smart! Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. Well, break that glass. Okay, so... Obviously, there's gonna be something across this. Okay, let's see. So maybe I gotta break that, and then take it across. 
across, maybe? You regenerate the glass? No, you don't. So... Ah, just letting you know that you reset the glass. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that's shit. Okay, I got it. I got a... I had this, and I lost it. Don't make that face at me. That was creepy and disgusting. That was like a... That was like a thing. Words, I can't remember. No! Nerd! Okay. What was that? No. What are you? Are you some sort of badger raccoon? What are you? Can I go here? Nope. Oh. I'm gonna take this chair. Because it's incredibly blush. Yeah. Oh, that uh, creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity, or Ike. <laughs> I like you, Ike. It, oh. That happens every time. I tell someone I like them, and I think they're my friend, and then they fucking leave and break my heart. Okay. Supposed to do that? Oh, oh, I get it. Whoa. This is entirely safe. I. And then I. Whoa. All right, gonna cut it off for here right now. Uh, if you guys enjoy Quantum Conundrum and want to see more, let me know. Because I'm having a lot of fun with this game. It's very reminiscent of Portal. Well, not reminiscent, but like, you know what I mean. It has a lot of the same feel. And it's a lot, very fun, and it's great. So if you guys enjoy this, let me know, and I'll play more, and it'll be great. So until then, I'll catch you guys next time. To the yellow world now. Okay. The, oh. Um, do I take the red pill?